Blankenburg is a Belgian coastal town in the province of West Flanders. With a long beach and promenade, plus a busy marina, the town has become one of Belgium's most popular seaside resorts. The area is known for its Art Nouveau architecture and a grand Art Deco pier that stretches out into the North Sea, offering views of the coastline. Before we get into the top 10 things to do in Blankenburg, we've included links in the description to various discount codes and links to resources of things to do, so make sure you check those out. At number 10 is Zoo Serpentarium. The Serpentarium gives visitors an impressive journey through the mysterious world of reptiles. From the jungle to the desert, visitors can experience the wonderful world of exceptionally rare species. Between rock walls and waterfalls, you will meet the most exotic animals, from the beautiful rainbow boa to the panther chameleon. The zoo shows a huge amount of different animals, spread over a hundred species. Apart from reptiles and amphibians, there are also spiders, insects, and other invertebrates in the collection. Number 9 is Sea Life Blankenburg. Sea Life, Belgium's premier aquarium and sanctuary for sea creatures, offers visitors family-friendly exhibits featuring more than 5,000 sea animals, plus a play zone and refreshment area. Visitors can see a colorful variety of fish and marine species in a fun and educational wildlife sanctuary, meet friendly penguins and mellow turtles, see enormous king crabs scuttling around the sands, and take a walk through a glass tunnel, peering up into the sight of sharks and rays gliding gracefully overhead. This attraction is as fun as it is educational, and a must for all wildlife enthusiasts. At number 8 is Zebos Woodlands. Immediately behind the coastline between Blankenburg and Zebriga are the Zebos Woodlands, an area of planted trees. The woodlands are a superb place to walk, offering shelter from wind and sun, while allowing you the peace and quiet to enjoy the landscape and natural environment. Part of Zebos has been set aside as play woods, with adjacent meadows for leisure pursuits and an adventure playground. Number 7 is the Bell Epoch Center. The Bell Epoch Center is housed in three superbly restored seaside villas in the center of Blankenburg. The center offers visitors a glimpse of the glory of the Bell Epoch era from around 1870 to 1914, when tourism increased and Blankenburg was on its way to becoming a major seaside resort. An interactive exhibition tells a story of nostalgia and explores what local life was like during the Bell Epoch. At number six is the Dairy Museum. In the Dairy Museum, visitors can experience more than 350 years of preparing butter and cheese. A great number of tools and historical machines, photographs, and unique documents show how the milk was collected and how it was processed into butter and cheese. In addition, historical prints, posters, and photographs are also shown to illustrate the entire dairy production process, from milk production to butter and cheese production, then to sales at the market. Number 5 is Hoysa van Majoot. The Fisherman's House, called the House of Majoot, is a preserved fisherman's house from the 18th century in the Bredelstraat in Blankenburg, thought to be the most typical, oldest preserved, and classified fisherman's cottage on the Belgian coast. House of Majoot welcomes visitors to explore the small museum that shows the history of the cottage. At number 4 is Uitkerkskapolder. The Uitkerkskapolder is a native reserve in the vast polder landscape. Between the busy coastal cities of Blankenburg and De Haan, this open, flat landscape creates an oasis of calm. The area is interlaced with ditches, and there are dozens of cattle drinking pools. In the winter, this quiet area makes way for thousands of geese, and in the spring, hundreds of meadow birds breed. A great area for walking and hiking visitors to enjoy the beautiful scenery and untouched nature. Number 3 is the Scoot Museum. Blankenburg's Maritime Heritage Museum is on the top floor of the Scoot Shed. The Scoot Museum showcases fascinating objects, drawings, and moving images about Blankenburg's fishing heritage from previous centuries, along with full details and information about the reconstruction of the legendary Blankenburg boat. This museum is a great visit for anyone interested in maritime history and boat renovation. At number two is St. Antonius Church. St. Antonius Church, consecrated in 1358, was built on the site of Our Lady Church, destroyed by a storm in 1335. It has been remodeled several times, and the interior is adorned with fine 17th and 18th century works of art, including a communion pew, confessional, pulpit, and organ. At number one is the Belgium Pier. Leading from the promenade out to sea for some 350 meters and culminating at the well-known circular building, which houses a restaurant, bar, and exhibition venue, the pier is a great place to visit. Constructed in 1933, the Art Deco Pier has nice outdoor seating and visitors can enjoy uninterrupted views along the coastline. 
So, that sums up our top 10 things to do in Blankenberg. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Until next video, have a great day.